And over here is the van complete. You're able to mount four beefy babies on the door. Another three on this door. I would recommend aluminum beefy babies. This is the John Wick wall. You have a spot for two medium rollers, eight combo stands, two low boy combos, and four beefy babies just on the wall. Um, four by eight beadboard and wood and foam core right here. Two ladders, an eight foot and a six foot. You'll have to pull the eight foot out first so you can get to the six. Not a big deal though. Um, four of each speed rail starting from four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Um, this is your twelve by uh, square stock for frames and your eight foot square stock for frames right here. Then you get like three frames each. Um, actually probably more. Every one of these hooks has uh, little rubber pieces to absorb impact, help keep down the rattle and prolong the life of your stands. And then <clears throat> This is the four by section where you can do two four by reflectors, any kind of flavor of your uh, four by selection. You have two by three sections, two of those. Um, these little two foot mirrors, shiny boards. And uh, 18 by 24 and some smaller ones. So, and right here, I put felt all along the bottoms here and the reflectors to slide in nice and easy. Won't damage the boards. Um, back up here. Uh, you have two shelves. They can fit apple boxes or milk crates deep. Two shelves full. Um, this one I specifically built for apertures. So you could basically put a 1200 aperture here a 600, a 600, and you can even do one twelve, uh, one 300 down here or some shop bags, but you could also put 300s here or whatever you want. Over here, you can put the half milk crates um, or just apple boxes sideways. I wouldn't do apple boxes though. I would just do milk crates for gear. And then, uh, these top parts right here, I put these little bungee straps because it just so happens these little light deals are just the same measurement as the E-Track. So I basically just put, made a little plate here to shore it up so it won't move around. And you can put the eight foot seamless up top here or anything that's you know fairly lightweight. Or you can just strap it up, something else, but. There you go. Everything's completely sound deadened. Did all the sound deadening on all the panels all around, even including the door. And also on the back behind the wall here, just to eliminate as much of the rattle and racket as possible while you're driving down the road. And then just a precautionary step. I put grip tape on the bottom here and some caution tape so you don't so you can see it easier at night because all the black just blends in. But other than that, she's all finished. One more thing. This swivels out of the way, obviously, but you can close it. You can literally do it one-handed. Open it up. And then this actually comes off in like two seconds, so you can get all the four by eight stuff out of there if you wanted to. So, other than that, now the video's finished. Hope you enjoyed.